videoing y'all just in case anything goes to the left. Anyway, these men are busy. They're handling their business. But it's all to make everything look nice. I understand. But, yeah, it's like 10, 15. We wouldn't have been able to, we wouldn't have been able to do our live, y'all. We wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> y'all, it's such a beautiful day outside. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It's so beautiful. I'm going to have me some butter pecan ice cream. I've tried um, Briars, and I've never tried Pet. So, uh, yeah, we're going to totally do it because it's loaded with pecans. I was telling my mom the other day, I'm thinking about um, making some uh, pecan bread pudding. If I decide to do that, I'll, it'll be on my cooking channel. Toodaloo. Put a little sugar cone in it. Outside of all the construction going on out here, I'm here to tell you it's absolutely beautiful. Mr. Silver Fox has already gone out and checked for me. The traffic is bad, so I'm not going to try to leave to go nowhere. It's just beautiful. Y'all, I'm actually getting ready to take me a bubble bath. Got the candle burning. I'm going to do it. Good morning, everybody. Let's go to church. Let's go. Y'all, I'm on my way to go get my granddaughter, but I'm trying to understand the, the wheels on this car. Um, I don't quite get it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tanya Lady T. Our church is uh, over. So now I'm in my other job of being the Lyft driver, the Uber driver, the taxi cab, the Amtrak, and the Greyhound. Headed down the highway to go get my grandbaby or granddaughter. And uh, hope to spend some time with my son and my other granddaughter or grandbaby. Now I can call her a grandbaby because she too. And, um, uh, service was excellent of course but yeah that car a while ago I, it kind of scared me because I'm thinking my god if he make a turn did you see those wheels I'm thinking now if he tries to turn it, it seemed like the rubber would get skinned up but I'm sure it's engineered to, uh, but my goodness I, I, and then what if you have to go over speed bump it seemed like the whole front and back end of there uh, undercarriage would be stuck on top of that speed bump. I don't know. That was just real, real low to the ground. And uh, and, the, and then the wheels looked like they were sort of slanted. That was, I ain't never seen nothing like that. But I guess if, if they like it, if, hey, if, if they love it, I, if, if whatever, how's that saying go? If you like it, I love it, honey. Whatever floats your boat, whatever gets your goat, whatever wears your coat, Whatever poke to stoke. Y'all know I'm trying to make it rhyme. Uh, I'm just talking to myself as I go down this highway because I got an hour drive. Anyway, whatever floats your boat. Did I say that one? Shut up, Tanya, because you a joke. Let me go. Let me goat. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Honey, y'all, y'all know me. I love life, honey. You gotta just have fun. Anyway, let's roll. Let's roll. Walking victory, y'all. Walking victory, y'all. Yes. tell y'all what y'all yesterday which was Saturday I just stayed home cleaned up my place read a little watch TV it was beautiful outside but I mean like I said I didn't want to get hung up in the traffic so I just, it was just a 
stay at home day and I'm telling you I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed myself let me tell you what I watched y'all just so just so if you want to name um I had started uh reading up um where they just celebrated Diana Ross's birthday not too long ago but anyway and anyway so you know whenever you see that they suggest and when I say they talking about YouTube anyway um the movie mahogany popped up in the suggestion feed and it was a full movie and I had seen it years ago when it when it came out you know when I was much much younger but you know I rewatched that whole movie again and I also watch Lady Sings the Blues which is the doc documentary not I won't say documentary it was a movie depicting Billie Holiday and of course Diana Ross played that uh, role as well but I'm here to tell you when I watched um, Mahogany of course both films had uh, Billy D. Williams you know he was the man the devil now you know he was the thing back then um, but anyway I'm gonna I'm here to tell you I enjoyed watching both those movies and um, and like I said, I had seen them both in the past, but I just totally forgot about them. But anyway, they're right there on YouTube. I mean, you know, nice, full, uh, just really good, you know, uh, movies. And I'm going to hear to tell you, I thought, you know, that daggone Dan or Dinah Ross is absolutely beautiful. That sister is gorgeous. It just reminded me, you know how you just, you know, and, and and she just was an awesome actress, you know, and she played on the Wiz and stuff. But you know, that movie with her in Mahogany, I just, you know, I just enjoyed the fashion. I enjoyed her look. She is just absolutely beautiful, isn't she? Oh, she's just absolutely gorgeous. Then I got my laugh on in Lady Seen the Blues because Richard Pryor is in it. He's, you know, he was the piano player. And like I said, I'm not going to give it away for those of you who have, who have not seen either movie. Um, But my goodness, I enjoyed that. Sometimes I just love to go back and look at older movies, you know, or just familiarize yourself with some of the great women of color um movies like Lena Horn. Oh my goodness. So that's gonna be next. I'm gonna be watching a bunch of stuff that Lena Horn did. You know, just a celebration of just those beautiful actresses. But I'm like I said, I just wanted to just say that that you know that I really enjoy watching those two movies. You know, I just got totally lost in that but I, I i'm just i just want to applaud diana ross you know everybody's had their problems and struggles but i'm here to tell you in that movie mahogany she was absolutely beautiful it was she a matter of fact I, my aunt my mother's sister her i'm gonna show y'all a picture of my when i get to my mom i'm gonna show y'all a picture of my aunt evie and my Aunt Evie reminds me so much of Diana Ross back then in that movie because my my aunt she was she's she was real skinny, real like stream being skinny, just like Diana Ross. And she, my aunt she loved fashion. She loved fashion. She still does, but she's just, you know, kind of just taking ill with her different arthritis and stuff like that. But I thought, oh my God. So anyway, matter of fact, D'Anthony, I'm going to have to do, I know I hear some of y'all, I'm going to have to do just like a family tree and just do like still shots of who everybody is. Um, because I know some of y'all who are new and are following that, y'all like, who, who this is? But just for right now, just know that's my family. But yeah, I understand. I might have to do a still pictorial or a video and do so y'all don't know who everybody is um and some of y'all other nosy folks 
yeah, the, some of the baby mamas, they ain't gonna be in the, in the video. Cause they, you don't need to know that. You just need to know the children that flowed out of, through my mother. <laughs> some of y'all can be like, who, what, who, who the baby mama is from the Rican? They ain't in the picture. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, I love y'all. Y'all know how we do. Y'all know how we do. You know how we do as family. Some, some stuff, some stuff ain't none your business. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to just talk about it. And there's something in my eye, y'all. Um, I just wanted to just talk about that. And you know, to just go back and appreciate some of the old movies. Oh my goodness. But like I said, Donna Ross reminded me so much of my aunt. Or my aunt reminds me so much of Diana Ross. Either way, um, y'all are going to be shocked to see how much my aunt looks like Diana Ross. Again, back then when she was, you know, in that movie, Mahogany. But I just can't say it enough. Diana Ross, you are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Don't count me out. I'm on my way. Don't count people out, y'all. Have stirred me up by John P. Key. Oh, let me tell you something. When you're going through something <laughs> and you're down, trodden, your countenance has fallen, and you don't want to stay nesting there, let me tell you something. You better put on a, a song because guess what? The joy of the Lord is my strength. Isn't that the truth? And for y'all who aren't there yet, yeah, put on you something to get you out of the funk. Honey, let me tell you, stir up that thing in you. To a better place, to a brighter day, I will recover. like twins you be salt and I'd be pepper or should or you be cream amiata all right y'all we, we're on the uh, pre we're boarding the flavor train and later on this evening we'll be heading into the depot and making a pit stop uh, at the dinner table All right, y'all, we about to get on the flavor train. Well, like we've always talked about, three. Okay. About to do it, about to do it. 